boy bod. That's not easy recalling off somebody petting him. Very good. Thank you. Okay, working on that good heel, boy, chipping away at it day by day. Every day gets better. Good boy, Mike. Good, good. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time, and then one day I'll be ready to take over. Boy. See, Josh tapped the tone, boy, and that should mean walk at the left side slightly behind and if you saw when mike darted ahead that's when he got the correction and back to heel so that's what he's learning good boy mike that's nice that's what he's learning he's got to learn to prioritize that left leg his attitude is a lot better today Oh yeah a lot good. better it's really you know would you say it's, it's difficult to try to teach a dog who has no interest in learning Oh, yeah. So now he's got some it. interest in learning, so we can actually get the lesson across. I would actually say that's probably why most people struggle. Yes. I think that's why, uh, I think that's why the, um, the food training is so popular. Because yes. you can add a motivation. Yep. You can get the dog wanting the food. You can say, here, do it for this. And then all of a sudden you get motivation. Get motivation without offering a treat is something I think it's a, a lot, lot of people don't know how to, yes. how to get. But right? that's what stays together when you really need it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the food training will fall apart in situations where yeah, oh, the dog doesn't want the food. It falls apart. Fast. Okay. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, this is good. This is really good. This is an important session for him because he's going to learn the easy way out. He's going to learn that if he just listens, the session goes really nicely. So did you notice that time Josh tapped the tone and he did not dart forward. So it's like all this little stuff he's learning. He's learning to follow the turns with his leg. Keep that knee in his visual. That's a good boy, Mike. Oh, hi, can I pet your dog? Hey, can I pet him? Oh. Good job, Mike. Real important moment right there. Good job, Mike. So I provided a distraction, right? He paused left Josh aside, thought about coming towards me. He got the correction and went back to Josh. That was huge. He only got a time. Yep. Because we don't want our dog's heels falling apart at the yeah. very first temptation. Especially, I mean, they live downtown. We can't have somebody baby talking him and he completely just leaves his right. handler's side. Right. This will happen as soon as they see somebody. Okay, so he's tapping the beep every time he starts to lag behind. See, there, he did not make the same mistake. So that's good. Good job, Mike. Wow. Yeah, it's really good. I'd, I'd say, um, amazing. Huge improvements. There was another lesson. Good. Good. <clears throat> yeah, you were talking about attitude earlier. You really it's because he doesn't want, and not just Mike, but most dogs that give you to trouble, they don't want to follow your direction. They don't want to be followers. They want to be able to choose one where and how in any given situation. And they struggle giving up that to you, letting you lead. That's all it is. And they're willing to throw a fit, fight, run away in order to try to keep that control. Ever so slightly, he just looked at that exit right there. Yeah. 
<laughs> he thought, what if I just, you know, walk away? But he chose against it. That's good. And that stay. I love that he's defaulting into a down. That's so crazy because we had trouble getting him to lay down and now he's offering it on his own. <laughs> good job. Practicing stay again. Nice. That was like a real life scenario where, you know, you're entering some sort of a threshold and you want to go check it out before you release your dog. So it kind of makes sense in his brain. <laughs>